Hello everybody. This is the old man's kitchen. I'm the old man, Richard Oli. Today we're going to be making short rib soup. Soup. And we're going to cook the short rib in the short rib in broth. Beef, meat broth. Some folks use just plain water. And I put a bay leaf in there. Plain water sometimes when you finish cooking the short ribs, the flavor goes into the water, but there's no there's no more beef, very little flavor left in the short ribs. But when you put a little bit of consomme in there or broth or whatever, it, it they hold their flavor. Okay, and put a little garlic in there, whatever you like in garlic. Okay, and now I'm going to put I'm putting what the French call a mirepoix in there. French cook, Italians, I did call it sucrito or something. Now, how long does it take to cook? That's a good question. If it was prime beef, and that is not prime beef, probably around two hours. Choice, good piece of choice, which that might be, but a good piece of choice, about three hours, two and a half to three hours. Now I'm doing do cleaning the onions, a couple of onions. Whoop. Yeah, that's enough. And that's what we're putting in there now. We're gonna let it come to a boil, put it at a simmer, we'll cover it with a little breathing space, and let it cook. We've been cooking for about two and a half hours, two and three quarter hours. Everything is tasty, it's nice and safe. So now we're going to finish up the soup. First thing we're going to do is put in some vegetables. We're going to put in our vegetables. First thing is potatoes. So I'm going to clean the potatoes. I'm going to rinse off the potatoes. What I like about these boards, it goes, it's a little dirty, but look how clean it is there. I know, I know, I should, I'm not supposed to do that. I washed the zucchini. Cut it up. I'm not going to cut it real small. Okay. Whoa. Now this got to go in there. Uh, be careful. Be careful when you do this. Let's mix it a little bit. There we go. And peas. Peas don't take long to cook. Okay. We're 90% ready for the finishing touch. So I'm going to put some beans in here. Now, I put the, ju the juice. These are canned beans, kidney, and I put the I put the juice in all. All right. Some people don't, but these are petty pot. The little beans, little peas, and we'll put them in in a couple of minutes. In a minute. Okay. Looking good, Chef. It's, it, all right, we shut the we shut the fire off because it's time for the finishing touch. Finishing touches with oh, look at that. 
so tender that the bone fell off. So now we got to look for the bone. Well, we'll just be careful when we serve it. There we go. Yep, yeah, this one still has the bone. That's all right. That's good. Okay. Take the bone off of there. Check it out for, for fat. There's a hair of fat over here. We'll cut that away. Put the meat over here. It's too hot. Here's another bone. Another bone. Take that bone away. See if there's any fat here. Oh yeah, this one this one's got fat. So we'll just take the fat off. I just cut it into pieces. All right, back in. Little by little, before I get it all over the place. There we go. There we go. All right, let's taste it. Let's taste it for the final touch. Okay, taste it. Good, good, buddy. We need a little bit of salt and pepper. No I wish I made everything like that. Put a little salt in it. There's a lot of it. There we go. That should do it. Pepper. There we go. Gira un poco. Smelling good? I can, t I can smell the difference. It's good. Now it's good. Now perfect. Good. 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 